Nicole and Stan, uh, the first time we ever get to meet them. Unfortunately, we're doing it on Zoom, but at the same time, Black Bear, thanks so much for being here. Black Bear, yeah, so you're, so you're, be here. you're worried. You keep looking behind you. You're worried yeah, about you, your dog, why, why which you? I thought I thought was a chicken, um, is going to, to disrupt, <laughs> disrupt you at all. No, I just asked. I just asked. Can you co- politely move the chicken out of the room? Perfect. Okay, you have a you have a, <laughs> so you have a pet chicken. You have a pet chicken. <laughs> no, it's a dog. Oh, no, right. it's yeah, a yeah. dog. What kind of what kind of dog is it, Black Bear? It's a Shiba Inu, and he's he's actually a chicken. Right. Okay. There you go. You learn something new every day on the morning mashup. <laughs> scared of his own shadow. He's really scared. His name is Pocky. He's a Shiba Inu. He's the same dog as those dogs that are like in the meme, and it's like the meme dog. Same mm-hmm. kind of dog. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So I have a question because I'm just like looking at you and I'm just looking at your, I'm obsessed with tattoos, by the way. I'm just, I'm going to set that up. I'm going to preface it with that. And I'm looking at your neck. All, oh yes, you are tatted up. Love it even more. Okay, so um, my my man, um, he the first tattoos he ever got was on his sides so or like right on his ribs. And the, per, the whoever tattooed him said, it's the oh, worst look, look pain you'll that. ever feel. But oh. I'm looking at your neck and I feel like, you're, like your throat might be the worst pain that you'd ever feel from a tattoo. What was well, the worst it, pain? It's, I think my tops of my feet were the worst, I think, or my stomach. But because uh, it's just just anywhere where it's sensitive, it hurts really, really bad. Anywhere where you're tickly kind of, it hurts even worse. I have no idea why. But mm. um, I don't know. I, yeah, the the side, it definitely hurt. But the stomach and the front hurts way more. I got like, I got like some kind of like red, red ink hurts more. So okay. Kind of oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Look at Ryan looking at you like scared, like you're getting a tattoo right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, to see, none of us have tattoos. And I could like sit here yeah. and ask you like a million dumb questions about tattoos. Because the one thing that, that I never know is everyone talks about like what part on your body hurts. But I would think the person doing it would be the, the, the like the main pain factor. Like the person doing it. No, like, uh, yeah, like the no, artist no, no. is like, no, when yeah. you go to get, when you go to get blood taken, right, the phlebotomist yeah. that takes it out of you, if they're good, you never feel it. But some of sure. them, you're like, ow, I'm in pain. And I feel like a tattoo artist would be the same they way. Call it, they call it heavy handed. Some people are he- have a heavy hand and do it, really drill it in there. But you, it kind of makes for better tattoos if you have a heavier hand and they, they kind of yeah. are thicker and look better and darker. So it just depends. Yeah. The more they hurt, the more they're going to stick better throughout the years. I mean, I feel like it Ooh. is. Is sort of like the, the the moment of collabs right now. It's like it's all about the collaboration. You just collaborated with Charlie Puth. Yes. It's, yes. I mean, how much fun he's, did he's you have with him? Show. That guy is a freak show. Yeah, we know. It's amazing. <laughs> Love that guy. Oh, he's so amazing. Like he's just so talented. It's like ridiculous. Like he can he can hear something and be like, that's E flat major sus suspended no. seven and he starts playing it. He's just insane. Freak show off the circus, insanely talented. Mm-hmm. So he had teased on his uh, on his Instagram that he might have a few extra tracks that we haven't heard. How many Black Bear and Charlie songs do we not know about? There's one that might be the next Black Bear single, but I don't know. We just wrote one okay. together. I can't even, I can't say I can't say too much about it, but it's like insanely pop. So I don't know. Like I'm I'm already really pop as as an artist, but this one's insanely like Bruno Mars like first or okay. not first album, but Bruno Mars like like billionaire album, like it's that pop. Wow, so, wow, <laughs> I like that. Now, now know, look, I, listen, I, Black Bear, I, where'd you get the name Black Bear? What, 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 it's different every from? time. Sometimes I say it's my spirit animal. When I was when I was a little kid, I thought that <laughs> I thought that God was like this black teddy bear in the sky for some reason, and I so yeah. that was my first like my first true creative thought, I guess, and that so I just named my moniker after that. And I, I don't know, okay. it's a really random story. But my my first idea of what God was was I used to pray to a black teddy bear in the sky. So okay, All <laughs> that's right. awesome. Okay. By the way, yeah, um, so back random. to you just saying that you're super pop right now. I I was reading that you you sort of said like you know be, I don't know if that was ever what or what you always wanted was to be like charting like singles and and pop music and you are and you don't feel like you're a sellout, do you? Like you said, if I am, then whatever, then then I'm a sellout, but. Why would that ever mean that you're a sellout? I mean, you're. you're I mean, I feel like I success is success is success. Sold out is the best best sign you can put out in front of your store, and I keep saying that it, that's the best thing you can put out in front of your store is sold out. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, if 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 people keep buying my music, and it, that means it's for somebody, and that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it so it's for someone, and um, if, you know, if people don't understand it, that's okay. It's for someone, and um, 
hey, and it seems like it's for a lot of people right now. So that pop just is short for popular. So I'm just excited. That's, you know, it's amazing. I was looking online and you put out uh, a tweet earlier and you said, hey, if you couldn't afford the album, send me your email address and I'll send you a copy. Yeah, of your a bunch I found of out. I, well, I found out on iTunes that you can gift people if you have their email. So I just like I did like 100 people today that like they said, you know, it's like college students, especially people with pictures with their uh, their college cap in their picture and stuff. I like Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Or their email said .edu. I was like, yeah. okay, for sure. I'm going to like, you know, so I just, I looked out for people that were like, kind of gave me like a one sentence story. Like, hey, I, I couldn't afford this. Or rent was due the same day your album dropped. So that was, that was cool. That was cool to do. And plus, well, you know. Well, listen, I love yeah. that idea. I'm going to give you my email when we finish this interview and you can send me one. I like that. Because free well, is wait, good, the, what, Black Bear. Free is good. It just makes me feel good to do, to do that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just fun for me. Of course. Now, when you write a song, write a song like like me and your ghost, or any of the songs I know you've written for many years for you know different people for Justin Bieber. I know you collaborated with you know with Pharrell with Marshmallow. When you when you write a song specifically me and your ghost, let's say because that's what we're like vibing to right now. Do that? Does that person end up knowing that it's about them? Like, do you tell them that this song is about them, I or do they know that it's about them? Just I think the me. person that me and your ghost is about, I think that they know very well that it's about them. Uh, and that's just, I couldn't be more honest and nobody's asked me that yet, Nicole. And <laughs> the person have you heard that from that person? It's just, we're just, we haven't talked in over a year and it's just, it's kind of like an awkward thing. And I feel like sometimes I'll be out and I'll see this person's car and I'll get like these butterflies in my stomach and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's not like I want to like talk to this person, but it's like, it's almost like I'm here with their, the ghost of them. I'll see the make and model of their car and be like, Ooh, you know, that's them. Or like, I think I <laughs> wow. see them in, in traffic or something. It's, it's that kind of thing. That's what the song is about, the essence of that song. I just wanted to ask you, you know, you got a big weekend coming up. You got the VMAs coming up. And I hear you're going to yeah. do a, a pre-show performance with Machine Gun Kelly. I Also, uh, Travis uh, Barker, oh, can give us a little sneak peek what that's going to look like. Give us a little sneak peek. Let's hope it goes well. No, I actually, it's obviously it's pre-filmed. So I already got it filmed and we did it on top of a roof um, in downtown LA. Uh, I don't know how much more I can actually say, but it's like, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. It wasn't my idea, so I can't take the credit, but it was, it's, it was really dope. And it was like, it was beautiful scenery. And like somehow during my shot, they caught these, this beautiful, uh, pack of birds just flying above me like it was it was an accident it just happened but as soon as i as soon as i say yeah it just <laughs> birds went so it was like it was just incredible i saw so. too you're doing uh you're doing like an online performance with with ellie golding and and this yeah. is the first time i'd seen it that it was like a concert you could buy a ticket to um yeah do you, do you see this like are, are, do you plan on doing something like this or do you see this uh working in the future we're planning one right now for October and it's going to be called Black Bear in the Lobby of the Roosevelt. I have a song that says in the Lobby of the Roosevelt. So we just we, we decided we have to do at the Roosevelt Live in October. So we're getting that done right now. Nice. Now, yeah. I, I know. I'm, I'm cor- am I correct that you do not drink, correct? No, four years. Wow. Got Good for you. Good. Wow. That's amazing. So that how are you amazing. getting through, how are you getting through this, this pandemic? Because I don't think I could do it. Obviously you, I mean, what you've done is amazing and you should be commended for it, but I mean, how do you keep yourself busy or sane? Um, I do a lot of meditation. I have the app headspace, um, you know, a lot of breathing. I think that that's important. I do a daily gratitude list. I have like five friends and we just say what we're grateful for every single day. Um, wow. and I just keep myself busy on that level, just kind of staying in gratitude and just kind of like, you know, I do a lot of cardio too. I go running. Um, so anytime I feel like kind of, kind of just like jammed up or whatever it is, I just, I just take, go on a run really. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. So how much writing are you doing? Are, are you, are you busy and it's, and it's, uh, still coming out of you busily or are you taking a little break right now and refreshing the brain? Well, what I do is I rent a house every once a month. I rent a house and I just write like three songs and then we try to give those songs to artists. So, and so far, so far there's been like six of them that went to artists already that are going out. So my songwriting game is back in full force. And um, yeah, I'm just, they are coming out of me. Like it's just, especially the pandemic's got me like, there's just a lot of concepts flying around and a lot of like song ideas. So 
Well, I would imagine as a songwriter, your mind just starts going. Like it's just like, a, we have like, you know, we have things that keep us up at night, your mind starts racing. But I feel like a yeah. first songwriter, that's the norm. So I feel like in a pandemic, it's like on overdrive. Yeah, ADD times 1 million. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that you can give us like a little scoop on before we let you go that, uh, that you're hoping will take one of the songs that you just wrote? I already did in the beginning of the interview. Okay, perfect. You gotta pay attention. <laughs> Black yes. Bear, thank you so much. <laughs> By the way, I'm obsessed with I Feel Good. Uh, I, oh. love, well, I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I said it the wrong way. Yeah, I love I, 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 I don't know why I said it. I knew what you meant, Ryan. See, I almost yeah, now you like. totally believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, man. 